From the previous video, we looked at how to create a file geodatabase. And then this video, we're going to be looking at how to create a future data set. Now, what is a file geodatabase? I will have explained that in the previous video, but since it's a continuation, there's no problem. A file geodatabase is a geodatabase that contains all the items in one. But this time around, the file database is having between zero to the entire space you have on your system. That is, it can carry, if you have one terabyte, it does not have any restrictions. It moves to that one terabyte. Okay, so but the personal geodatabase is between zero and two gig. So any work that is more than two gig, it will not take the personal geodatabase. I guess that's the reason why. ArcGIS Pro left out the file, the personal geo database. So today we'll be creating a future data set. So uh, we've known how to connect our folder, and basically we're going to just move right on to creating the future data set. So we have our folder called Abuja, and then we have our file geo database called Amac. So you right click on AMAG and you go to new, then you go to future data set. Okay. So the parameter that's the output geodatabase is AMAG. Now the future data set, what kind of data set are we producing here? Where are we creating here? We're trying to create a future data set that contains future of maybe having the same kind of uh, relationship. So for example, if you say transportation now, transportation is a future data set that will carry the road, the subway, airport, uh, or ship transportation that's on the water. It's going to carry all of that inside that future class. So I'm going to say we're creating an Sorry, transportation. And then the next thing you're creating will be your your coordinate system. Okay, so we're going to click on this so that we it will bring us up the Julieta base we have. Sorry, the future class we have. So we're going to go on the projected coordinate system. Then we are going to be using UTM. So you go down to UTM, but not just any UTM. I'm going to the WGS1984. And then we'll go to Northern Hemisphere. So under the Northern Hemisphere, we are looking at zone 32 of the 1984. That's the projection. So most parts of the Northern Nigeria are in the zone 32 hemisphere, so uh, projection anyway. So you right click and then you add it to favorite. This is also same with ArcGIS desktop. So I have also zone 31 and also zone 32. So add all of them to the this thing, the uh, my favorite coordinate systems. Then I will also come to Africa. And then I will go down to Mina zone 32. Mina zone 31 and 32. I want to add them to February so that I don't have to come to this place Again, so they are in my favor. Once I click on my favor, they are all there. So this time I'm going to work with the WGS 1984 UTM zone 32. So, okay, next time I don't need to go through all of those process. So once done, I'm going to run or run it. So it's creating the future data set. So the future data set is created. All 
Why is he saying it's already existed? Boy is created anyway. So let's go back to see what we've created. But it's not created anyway. I don't know why. Okay, so we have it created here. Yeah. So this is how you create future data set. So let's create a few more. Now the next we'll be creating we'll be looking at um we would be looking at maybe utility or facility. Let's say facilities. Now when we say facilities we're referring to things like Building, referring to schools, referring to hospitals, referring to market, referring to tourist centers, all of those fills under fall under facilities, or you can say utilities. They fell within that. So you could add all of them under one future data set so that it helps you organize your work. So now, when we come here, we just click on our February, then we select Zone 32, and then we run. I'm also getting used to this, so sometimes the language is used to confuse me anyway, so that's created. Okay, so, uh, so we have two future data set created here. So you could create as much as possible, depending on your scope, depending on what you're working on. So I will see you in the next video. For now, it's bye-bye from me.